Okay guys, so we got some big news coming out of WonderCon, some more big Boom Studios uh, news regarding what else their big money maker, Power Rangers. Yeah, let's face it, Boom Studios has been killing it on Power Rangers, even more than uh, Pow Saban Power Rangers have done recently, or Hasbro's Power Rangers, whatever. So we got some big news um, regarding a new graphic novel coming out very soon. Um, I think I think in the summer this is supposed to appear, and that is Power Rangers: The Psycho's Path. Yeah. So this is a comic about the Psycho Rangers. Yeah, a fan favorite villain team that I really love, and I know a lot of you guys out there love the Psycho Rangers because let's be real, guys. The Psycho Rangers were not only just you know this. Uh, they weren't just cool looking, they actually brought it to the table. They just had style and power behind them. You know, say what you want, but the Psycho Rangers got a... They actually killed a ranger. They actually managed to kill the, a ranger, and uh, essentially, you get bragging rights on that. So, this story is also going to not focus on the Mighty Morphin era. Yeah, I think this is the first time, aside from Shattered Grid and the fallout of Shattered Grid, where we're going to focus on the Power Rangers outside of uh, Mighty Morphin. Now, don't get me wrong. We all love Mighty Morphin. It's the show that started it all. It, you know, Tommy, Jason, and all that. Uh, we can't get enough of those guys. But it's cool to, you know, the other Power Rangers shows were, a lot of them out there post Mighty Morphin were equally good too. And this is going to be a story that involves In Space and Lost Galaxy Rangers. That being Andros and his twin sister Corone, aka Astronema, aka the second pink Lost Galaxy Ranger. Which I'm all for. I love Andros. He's one of my favorite Red Rangers. Uh, and Corone is an equally great pink ranger. She's probably as much as I love Kimberly as much as I really dig Kimberly as a pink ranger, it's um Corone, who's uh, probably my if I was to admit, like say my favorite pink ranger, it'd probably be Corone. Because Corone had like this great storyline to her. She had she was a villain, struggled with that, and when she found out Andros was her brother, and then um, from that we had um, we had like this storyline, and then I felt like the storyline came full circle with her going from being astronomer to taking up the pink, you know the Pink Ranger mantle in Lost Galaxy. It was a great little story arc and a great ending piece for that character. So yeah, I'm totally fine with. Uh, a story about Corone and Andros. Yeah, totally. Um, anyway, but like I said, this story is going to focus soul, uh, on the Psycho Rangers, now being led by Psycho Green. The last time we saw the Psycho Rangers, a lot of them were actually working for Dra for uh, Draken. I, I keep saying Draken. Uh, I know that's the correct name. I know Draken is the correct name, but for some reason I want to keep saying Dracon because whenever I say Draken, I think of Dr. Draken from Kim Possible. Yeah, so Lord Draken is um, Lord Draken is a just a power uh, is just was a powerful villain in Shattered Grid. And like I said, he had the Psycho Rangers in his back pocket hunting other rangers throughout, you know, the gr you know, throughout the grid. Um what also makes it an interesting thing is that um, now they're being led by Psycho Green, who the last time I think we saw, uh, um, I want to say he was in Shattered Grid, but I, uh, but I can't say for sure, but the last time we saw Sh Psycho Green, Psycho Green was in the prelude to Shattered Grid involving the, rain the first Mighty Morphin Rangers that showed up in 1969. That's where we had a female Red Ranger and all that, um, and that character became... Uh, like an ally slash Lex Luthor type character to the Rangers. So that's pretty, you know, this is pretty cool. The comic is going to be a one and done graphic novel. And I gotta say, you you know, once again, they're really putting a lot of faith in Power Rangers because obviously they've been selling. And some of the times they've been outselling Marvel and DC. So yeah, when you can outsell two, the two biggest companies every time your comic comes out, yeah, you're doing something right. Now, this will not be written by Kyle Higgins or Marjorie Liu, who have, um, they will not be writing it. Instead, it's going to be uh, a writer who has done several uh, stories for Tales of TMNT over at IDW. The artist will be the same one from the Soul of the Dragon graphic novel. So that's pretty neat. I really dug the artwork in Soul of the Dragon, so that's pretty cool. 
They also said that this may not have any... They did say that this will have some continuity to Shattered Grid. There will be some continuity, but it will still be reader-friendly if you're just reading that. Which I'm fine with, because uh, Soul of the Dragon, while it was written by Kyle Higgins, um, it's actually very reader-friendly. Like, you don't have to read Shattered Grid or all the Power Ranger stuff to get it. You can read... Uh, that comic and just if, just for being a Mighty Morphin fan or just a Power Rangers fan in general and get it. So hopefully they'll follow that in the same vein with um, the Psycho Rangers and it's going to focus mostly on them. So after five minutes of just gushing about this, let's talk about the main story of this. So Corone and Andros are um, working together and the Psycho Rangers have returned and they're gunning for them. Mostly because Corone, when she was Astronema, created the Psycho Rangers, but now they're under the control of Psycho Green and no longer working for, Dra uh, for Draken, and they're gunning for Corone. So Andros has to protect his sister from the Psycho Rangers who want their revenge because, yeah, C uh, uh, when Corone went good, she kind of kicked them to the curb and didn't want to affiliate any, any, any more with them. So that's going to be cool to see. I also like how they're also, the, the Psycho Rangers are more powerful now, like they've somehow found a relic that has empowered them even more. Like they've gained, their powers have been upgraded, they've also, um, apparently like they've now got, you know, someone else they're working for. I don't know who that could be. I'm thinking it might be Dark Spectre. It'd be really cool if the Psycho Rangers were working directly for Dark Spectre. Um, oh, that'd be so cool actually. Um, if it was revealed to be Dark Spectre. But then again, Dark Spectre died in... Um, Dark Spectre died at the end of, of In Space. Uh, so... That might put a damper on it, but... It'd be neat if it was like a remnant... I mean, they brought in in the... Um, in the... What was, what was I going to say? The... Soul of the Dragon graphic novel, it was revealed that Scorpina came back and she was working for Lokar, who was the endgame villain that Rita summoned in the end of the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So, for all we know, could be the, could be Dark Spectre. It'd be cool. Or maybe they're working for King Mondo. Or, well, Mondo's son I remember surviving. I vaguely remember from the Machine Empire Mondo's son, one of his sons surviving. Or it could be, you know... Um, Diabolico. It could be a ton of villains, honestly. It could be a ton of different villains the Psycho Rangers are working for or pretending to work for because yeah, the Psycho Rangers only answer, really answer to one person and that's the Psycho Rangers. So, that's, you know, this is going to be awesome. I love, you know, the Psycho Rangers are obviously a fan favorite and to see them get their own, you know, graphic novel, oh my god, that's going to be so great. And yeah, should we get our hands on this, you can be damn sure that we here at Comic Universe are going to review the hell out of that book. We are just going to review the hell out of this, because we both, uh, um, C-Dubs and I, both collectively loved Soul of the Dragon, um, and yeah. And again, like I said, while I do love what they're doing with Mighty Morphin, and Mighty Morphin's probably, like, the one thing we all know of Power Rangers, like, we all collectively love, it doesn't hurt to go go and do other Power Rangers-centric show, you know, comics. Maybe we can do graphic novels about, like, um, you know, Res Lightspeed Rescue, or Dino Thunder, or um, we could do uh, Lost Galaxy, um, or or Zeo, there's so, like, hopefully this will sell enough well to show that we can do other power, because obviously, yeah, we have the Ranger Slayer, the Kimberly from the other timeline, doing, you know, doing stuff with another team that's made up from other Rangers, so, maybe this can, and maybe this is their test, maybe they're testing the waters to do more stuff outside of the other, uh, you know, the Mighty Morphin timeline. Maybe this is how they're going to do, like, more Power Rangers stuff, and I'd be totally down with that. So you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of Psy the Psycho Rangers getting a graphic novel? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Um, do you want, you know, are you excited to see Andros and Corone be the main focus of this graphic novel? And more importantly, would you guys be opposed to Boom Studios doing more Ranger stuff outside of Mighty Morphin? I mean, as much as I we all love Mighty Morphin, you know, we all have collectively love other Power Rangers shows out there. Some of us even more so than Mighty Morphin. 
But anyway, just comment below. Let us know here at Comic Uni uh, here at Comic Universe. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.